In this video, we'll take a look at the if statement within C Sharp by creating a program that calculates the grade versus the GPA the user enters in. So we're going to go ahead and begin by creating a new project. So I'll click on New Project. And I'll just call this one GPA dash grade. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And so what I wanted to do is I want to create a text box for the user to enter in a value like a GPA. We'll use a button then to click and then we'll use a label to display the results. So I'm going to move a label in here. I'll move a button in here as well. And I'll move a text box. I'll go ahead and move those over. So the text box, I'm going to go ahead give the text box a name and I'll use TXT. I'm going to go ahead and use value as the name of the text box. For the button, we're going to go ahead and I'll call this one CMD OK. And I'll change the text property of the button to just say OK. And hit enter there. And now I've got a button here to hit OK. I could have also called it calculate or something similar to that if I wanted to. And I've got the label here, which we're going to go ahead and put uh, for the text. I'll put letter grade. And I'm going to go ahead and change the label to LVL grade. And so these are the objects we want to work with within our program itself. And I'll just go ahead and move that underneath this. And so what we're going to go ahead and do now is write some code for when we hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the OK button. And you'll see right here is our method for the CMD OK click event. Well, the first thing we want to do is grab the input that the user puts into the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and create a double. And I'm going to call this double DBL. And I'll just call it input. And let's go ahead and grab what's in that text box that the user uses. So I'm going to go ahead and use convert dot to double. And the reason why I need to convert it to a double is because the input that's in a text box is going to be a string. And we want to take that string and convert it to a double to store in our double variable that we've created. So I'm going to go ahead and use the parentheses here. And the text box was called txt value. And we're going to use the text property of that one. I'll end that with a semicolon. So now I've gone ahead and stored the value of that text box as a double in the variable called dbl input. And so what we're going to do now is just simply create an if statement. And I'll go ahead and say if. And I'll go ahead and start with a parenthesis here. And I'm going to say dbl input is going to be less than or equal to 4.0. Now I also need to do, this is for calculating the A, I also need to do that it's also greater than 3 point, or equal to 3.5. And so to use the word and, I'm going to use two ampersands here to do this one. So I'm going to go and say DBL input is less than or equal to 4.0 and DBL input is greater than or equal to a 3.5. I'll go ahead and close my if statement. Now on the if statements we don't use a semicolon at the end of the statement. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And I'm going to go ahead and start my curly brace. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and end the curly brace. Now anything in between these two curly braces is going to run for my if statement. So I usually just get in the habit of creating uh, a curly brace and ending a curly brace. And then spacing down here uh, one space here between these to create uh, the area that's going to be for my if statement. That if it's true, it's going to run in my if statement. So what we're going to do now is I'll go ahead and type in the code that I want to run. And so I'm going to go ahead and say is that text box I want to display, or actually that label that we have, I want to display the letter A. So I'm going to go ahead and say LBL grade dot text is going to equal A. And that's the end of my if statement. So I'm going to go ahead and put a semicolon on that line. And there's my if statement. So now if we run our code, and it happens to be between a 4.0 and 3.5, I'm going to run an A. So I'll go ahead and hit uh, the debugging. And here's my program. So if I enter in a 2.0, and I hit OK, nothing happens. But if I enter in a 3.7, and I hit OK, you'll see that the label has changed to an A. So I've got an A now. Go ahead and close this program. And let's go back to our code. Now I need to also run some if statements for other options like I saw a 2.0 or any other kind of GPA that will enter in here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit space down here and we're going to create another if statement. So I'll go ahead and start with the if and I'm going to go ahead and do the condition that I need to test to see if it's true or not. 
So we're going to go ahead and say if DBL input is, let's see, we want to do less than, less than 3.5, all right, and if DBL input is greater than or equal to, let's say 3.0. And that'll be my if statement. This is for our B. So I'm going to go ahead and start my curly brace. I'll hit enter, end my curly brace. I'll just move up and space it down one so that I can go ahead and write my code here for this one. And I'll just say LBL grade dot text is going to equal a letter B. And I end that with a semicolon. So now, if it so happens to be that my GPA is a 3.2, it will skip this one because it will not meet those conditions and it will come to this one here because it falls between 3.5 and 3.0. And so this and kind of allows me to, to use two conditions to compare it to. So I'm going to go ahead now and space down another one. And we're going to go ahead and say if dbl input is less than 3.0 and DBL input is greater than or equal to 2.0. We're going to go ahead and say LBL. Actually, I need to use my curly brace and in my curly brace, and I'll space it down one. I'll say LBL grade dot text is going to equal a C. And I'll end that with a semicolon. And I've got one more if statement that I want to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and say if, actually we'll do two more. We'll do a D and then we'll do an F. If DBL input is less than 2.0 and DBL input is greater than or equal to a 1.0, we'll go ahead and write our code for that. That's going to say LBL grade dot text is going to equal a D. And then let's go ahead and do one more for our F. Go ahead and move that over. The last one is going to be if DBL input is less than 1.0. And since anything less than 1.0 is going to be an F, I'll just go ahead and write one line of code here. Open my curly brace in my curly brace, and then I'm going to go ahead and say LBL grade dot text. It's going to equal the F. And then that with a semicolon. So now I've got a condition here for the A, B, C, D, and an F. So if I run my program, And so we'll go ahead and test our program now by typing in a 3.0, and I'll hit OK, and I get a B. And if you look at our conditions, if it's a 3.0, if it's greater than or equal to 3.0, it's going to be a B. And if I put 2.9, and I hit OK, I've got a C. If I put a 2.0 and hit OK, I also have a C. If I put a 1.0 and hit OK, it's still a D. If I put a 0.9, hit OK, I've got an F. If I put a 0 and hit OK, I've got an F. If I hit a 4.0, I will have an A. And so this is our program here for calculating GPAs using an F statement and the grade point average.